guys, it's Tina and I am back and as promised I am here with a full swatch fest and review for the Colored Rain eyeshadows that are now available online for purchase and there are 28 shades available and I am so excited for these eyeshadows and I do hope she expands the color range because spoiler alert these are fantastic eyeshadows so let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and then we'll go ahead and wrap up with the review. Did somebody say swatches? As usual, I'll be applying these swatches over a very light layer of primer. And for the swatches today, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Brush. Starting out with the shade Glisten, which is a foil finish. Glisten is a sheer white gold shade. It applies mostly white at the base and then you have a yellow gold reflection to it. Then we have the shade Clutch Pearls, which is a duochrome. Clutch Pearls is a similar shade to Glisten, but this one has more of a peachy gold duochrome to it. And here you can see the difference between those two shades. One is definitely more of a yellow gold, and the other one is more of a white base with a peachy gold duochrome. Then we have the shade Chameleon, which is also a duochrome. This one is a sheer lavender base with a blue shift to it. Next we have Champagne Life, which is a foil finish. This one is more of a champagne gold shade. It has less of a white base to it than the shade Glisten. But they're very, very similar shades. I don't think you need two of these in your collection. Then we have the shade Saint Germain Cocktail, which is a foil finish. This one is definitely more of a peachy gold shade. It's really beautiful, so if you were going for a warmer gold, this one would be the one you go for. Again, they're very similar shades here, so I don't think you need to collect all of these colors. Next we have the shade Flashy, which is a duochrome. This one is more of a yellow gold with a light green flash to it. And then we have Golden Olive, which is a foil finish. This is more of a medium bronze gold shade. It applies really beautifully and it has a hint of peach undertone. And then we have Superstar, which is a foiled finish. Superstar is more of a bright, in-your-face, metallic, golden shade. It's a rich yellow gold, almost like a sunshine yellow gold. And then I'll swatch the only silver in the lineup, which is Flashing Lights, and it's a foiled finish. This is a bright metallic silver shade. It for sure looks like aluminum foil. And again, here are those nine shades swatched. These are more of the golden and duochrome shades with the one metallic silver. And most of these golden shades look very similar on my arm. It's just a very slight shift in the undertone that makes them a little bit different from each other, but they mostly look all the same. So depending on the shade that you are going for, I would go ahead and pick the one that suits my undertones better. Like the peachy tones are the ones I would gravitate towards because they go well with my warm undertones in my skin. Next up is more of the neutral tones and some pink shades. The first up is Happy Days, which is a foil finish. Happy Days is a duochrome of peach and pink shades. It's a little bit sheer and it does tend to try to clump up a little bit as you apply it, so just press firmly and use a dense brush with this shade. Then we have Shortcake, which is a foil finish as well. Shortcake is a little bit more on the pinky coral side and it has micro fine yellow gold shimmer throughout it so it has a different texture than the other ones and this one does also try to clump up so you do have to press firmly to press out the different particles and the clumps that form. Then next we have the shade Pumpkin Pie which is a satin finish. This is the only satin finish in the collection and I found it so hilarious when you read the description for this one, it said satin with hints of subtle gold reflex. But reflex was spelled like a reflex action or a reflex motion. One that is just a reaction to a stimulus. 
That's how it was spelled. Not like reflex, like it reflects something like reflection. No, this one was reflex, so I thought that was hilarious. But this one is a tangerine orange shade with yellow gold shimmer to it. It is a really beautiful bright orange. I really like this one, but they need to change that description so quick. Somebody tell them. And then here we have Downtown, which is a foil finish. This is a bold, coppery bronze shade. It has a lot of orangey, coppery undertones to it. It's so beautiful. It's an intense shade. It applies beautifully. It's nice and like really rich in pigmentation. And here we have Who Me, which is a foil finish. Who Me is more of a pinky, bronzy, taupe shade. It leads a little bit more gold and not as much silver, and it has that little pink reflect to it. Then we have our first matte. This is the shade Gingerbread. This is a medium tone orangey brown shade. The name is perfect. It looks like gingerbread. It's a gorgeous matte and it applies really smoothly without being patchy. Then we have the shade Moments, which is also a matte. This one is more of a pinky, almost like a mauve pink brown shade. Again, beautiful pigmentation followed by the shade Chocolate, which is also a matte. This one is a rich, dark, chocolatey brown shade. Applies really beautifully, again, great pigmentation. And then we have the shade Intergalactic, which is a duochrome. This one is a red-based brown with a very light green teal overlay. It's not as intense as a lot of the dual chromes on the market that have this same color pairing. It's a little bit more light in pigmentation and a little bit less intense. And then we have the shade Secrets, which is also a dual chrome. This one is almost like a blackened chocolatey brown shade and it has a slight bronzy reflect to it. And then we have Black Moon, which is a matte finish. And this one is just the matte black of the collection. It is not the smoothest or most pigmented black on the market, but it definitely is still a nice black to deepen up looks and smoke out the outer crease or the lower lash line. And again, here are those 11 shades. We have the two pinks, a couple of coppery colors and an orange, and then more neutral tones and the matte shades. And these, again, the pinks are a little bit troublesome, but if you use a stiffer brush and you press with a little bit more force, you will press out the clumps that can form, but those are definitely troublesome shades. Not the ones I would definitely recommend, but the matte shades are really beautiful and they're smooth and pigmented, and I didn't need to layer them up too much to get that pigmentation. Now moving on to the bolder pops of color with the blues and greens. First up we have the shade Bay Breeze, which is a foil finish. Bay Breeze is a bright neon green shade with yellow gold glitter and reflex and it is so gorgeous. It's one of the most beautiful shades they have. It's absolutely glorious. Then we have Side of Olives, which is also a foil finish. This is an olivey green shade with yellow gold duochrome to it. Also a very beautiful shade and it's a little bit more intense than the subtle olive green shades you see on the market because that yellow gold really makes it shine and pop. Then we have Unexpected which is also a foil finish. This one is a deep forest green shade with a little bit of like a teal and yellow gold reflect to it. It looks a little blue tealish and it has a little gold to it, but it's a rich deep green. Then we have the shade Forbidden, which is a duochrome shade. Forbidden is a rich, dark, again, forest green, but it has a lit, little bit of a dark brownish purple to it. It is really beautiful. This reminds me of a dragonfly shade. So gorgeous. And then we have Malibu, which is a foil finish. Hey Malibu. This one is a bold, shimmery, lagoon, ocean blue. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, come through. It is so beautiful. Can you stand it? And then the last shade up is Blue Magic. And do you remember Blue Magic hair oil? Oh my god, loved Blue Magic so much. I smell like Blue Magic for the majority of primary and high school. Just a quick throwback fact. 
Blue Magic is a foil finish. Blue Magic is a deep sapphire blue and it has a bit of purple flash to it and then it has deep blue glitter to it. Oh my god, again, another beautiful shade from them. And again, here are those six really gorgeous colorful shades. These are the real hits in the collection for me. They're so gorgeous. And these are the shades that really sing to me in any collection. So I am kind of biased. I'm a little bit partial to blues and green shades. I don't know what it is, but these seem to have a little bit extra kick to them. Like a little bit of a unique vibe going on. Like the colors, the undertones, the duochromes just make them really unique and beautiful. The only similar shades I have in my collection would be to the two blue shades like this um, turquoise blue and then this sapphire blue. I have similar shades to those, but these just have that little extra oomph that make them extra special. So I think these shades, if you're into bold colors, even if you're into smoky shades, you can check out these two. Uh, these are winners for me. This is the shade Glamour, which is a silvery champagne shade. It's a nice neutral shimmery shade. It has decent color payoff, but you do have to build it up to get the full opacity. It is a nice light accent shade. And then we have this beautiful shade hair fetish. This is the purple shade of the lineup. It is a deep, almost eggplant purple shade. This one is a little bit more hard pressed in the pan and I did have to really press to get the color up but once you get the color on your brush it does stick to the skin and build up to a nice rich deep purple shade. And again here are those two shades that I skipped out on before. Alright so now that you have seen the glorious swatches and you have an idea of the shade range that is available and how these eyeshadows perform or apply using a brush, let's go ahead and jump into the review. And as usual the first thing I like to talk about when it comes to reviewing products is the price. How much do these cost? Now each of these eyeshadows are $6.99 US dollars and they contain 1.8 grams of product or .064 ounces which is a little bit more of a heavier weight than the 0.05 ounces that we're used to from typical small eyeshadows such as these. However, these contain a silicone ingredient that makes them a little bit heavier. Eyeshadows are measured in weight and not actual volume. So even though they're still in these small eyeshadow pens, the, the weight themselves, the net weight, is a little bit heavier than a typical small eyeshadow. Now you can also purchase all 28 eyeshadows in a bundle for $175, so that is available at a discounted price. Now that works out to $6.25 each per eyeshadow if you buy them in the bundle, but I was able to use a discount code and there are discount codes available. Just Google it or go on Instagram to find a discount code. The one that I used specifically was for 10% off, so I ended up paying close to the bundle price for the eyeshadows themselves. So. I didn't really lose too much by not buying them in the bundle. So if you're going to buy them individually, definitely search for a coupon code. Just go ahead and search for different colored rain affiliates. They will have a code available and you are going to support that person by using their affiliate code. Either way, you're going to save some money, definitely save some money, even though the price is definitely right for these eyeshadows. I mean, these are competing up against what? Makeup Geek, which are $6 eyeshadows, and I believe those are .05 ounces. MAC eyeshadows are $6 a piece now in the little pans, and these are $6.99. So they're right within the range where I'm comfortable paying for a single eyeshadow, especially from an indie brand that is only available online. Now with that being said, these eyeshadows are available for purchase on the Colored Rain website. So you do have to go to coloredrain.com and color is spelt with a U, just be mindful of that. And they do accept PayPal, which I truly appreciate. I love when a website accepts PayPal because that means the risk of identity theft and all of that jazz that comes along with inputting your credit card is minimized and PayPal is just a really good option for use. So they accept PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, American Express and Discover 
and you do have to pay shipping. I believe shipping ranges from five to seven dollars. So if you're gonna buy any of these eyeshadows, buy them all at once so you can save on the shipping because I ended up purchasing a couple of times and I had to pay shipping each time. There is no free shipping code or no free shipping for a certain purchase amount. So just keep that in mind when doing your purchases. Shipping does come with a tracking number and you do get an email with your tracking number once your order has shipped. And I had really great shipping from this company. I got my order within a few days. I'm talking about two to three days and these are coming from California. So I am all the way in New York, so it's on the other side of the country and yet my shipping was two to three days, which was really great. And since I was paying for the shipping, it felt a little justified that it was really fast shipping. You do get an email order confirmation with your order details as well as the shipping confirmation that I mentioned before and I just found uh, ordering from this company to be really easy really simple and the website even though it's a simpler website it's easy to navigate they have great pictures of the colors they don't really have this great descriptions of the colors but hopefully my swatches in this video help you to navigate the colors and see which ones you might be interested in trying out now as far as the packaging goes these come in little black pink and white themed sleeves and these are so cute and they do have a wedge design. So they're not just flat little envelopes. They do have a wedge design which actually keeps the eyeshadows inside more secure. And then inside the case you have a little plastic sleeve in that the eyeshadows sit in. And there's a little divot that the eyeshadows are nice and secure in. So I really like the packaging. I find it really secure. None of my eyeshadows were broken or smashed. And I find just the little attention to detail really helps secure my eyeshadows. And in the packaging, they were nicely bubble wrapped and secure. I did not have any damage whatsoever. And you do get a pack and slip with all the details of your order. And I just found that the way they packed these eyeshadows, the way they were delivered to you, the presentation was just really well done, especially for a small up and coming company. Also, the back of each of the eyeshadow pans are labeled with the eyeshadow name. It says made in the USA and it has the sizing and manufacturing information on the label which again is a nice touch and on the back of the packaging that it comes in you have the ingredients listed out which are talc, silica, dimethicone, different slip ingredients and then it also may contain mica which gives it that pearlized finish and different color additives and it says cruelty free and made in the USA which is always a great thing one thing I do want to point out is that the open jar symbol on the back of this box says six months which is a very short time for eyeshadows in six months you're gonna run through this no I don't think so but it does have an open jar symbol of six months which means the usage life is six months which throws me off a lot but don't let that scare you too much because the um, preservative ingredients are very limited in this, which is why they're limited to six months. But if you use your eyeshadows and sanitize them with either alcohol or a makeup sanitizing spray, such as the Beauty So Clean Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist, your eyeshadows will last a lot longer. And they're not going to spontaneously combust or anything. The performance might just be affected. It might crumble. The texture might be a little bit different. It might not apply the same. So don't think that these are automatically going to contaminate your entire existence and make you have breakout in hives or something. It's just that the performance may not hold up to when you initially purchase the eyeshadows. They're not going to necessarily harm you unless you have an eye infection or you get bacteria in them that's going to build up and give you an eye infection. So just be mindful of that. Something to consider as you go through using these eyeshadows. Just make sure that you disinfect them either again with alcohol or a sanitizing mist just to make sure that they are nice and fresh and not filled with viruses and bacteria. Another good thing is that they do have a personalized colored rain magnetized empty palette that you can purchase for $15 that is available on their website and this again is the black pink and white theme and it has colored rain on the front and then on the back it has the information for the website and it says always be fierce on the back which I thought was a really cute touch. And the palette is $15 on the website, which is the same price as a large Z palette, which this is the same size as a large Z palette. 
and it will hold all 28 of your eyeshadows in the palette and I just really enjoy this palette there is no mirror of course it's just like a typical Z palette it's magnetized and this will hold all your eyeshadows even if you have other eyeshadows from other brands that are magnetized it will also fit in this again it's just like a Z palette and I just really like the personalized pink touch to this now that we have gone through all of that let's go ahead and talk about the product and the performance and from the website it says Colorful range of pressed eyeshadows featuring highly pigmented, long-lasting, and blendable colors that glide on like butter with various finishes. And they do have various finishes. They have matte, metallic, shimmery finishes. And it says here all the shades are vegan and cruelty-free, which I know is a big thing for a lot of people. They're looking for cruelty-free products, so that's a great thing for this company to come out and be cruelty-free. And they're also vegan. They do mention, however, that there are three non-vegan shades. The three non-vegan shades are Flashy, which contains the duochrome red pigment, Happy Days, again another red pigment, and Fetish which contains a violet pigment. So if you're just sticking to vegan shades, skip out on flashy happy days and fetish. The ingredients in here don't match up to any other ingredient list that I have seen. It does have a dimethicone base. It has silica, aluminum powder, talc, and mica, which is really great, and there are no parabens in here. So I actually really like the ingredient list here. Nothing strikes me as stand out, oh, beware of this, and it doesn't contain carmine. Again, there are those three um, non-vegan shades that you do have to keep in mind. Now, what I really like about these eyeshadows is that they have a dimethicone feel to them that reminds me of Makeup Forever eyeshadows, which are my ultimate favorite eyeshadow formula, hands down, bar none. Hands down my favorite eyeshadow formula, but these are very similar. And the Kat Von D metal eyeshadows are also a very similar formula. They are creamy, they are a metallic finish, they apply like butter. They're like almost like a hybrid of a cream eyeshadow and a powder eyeshadow because they don't flick off and flake off into this powdery mess. But with a dimethicone product also, you do have clumping that can occur. And I did find that with the purple shade in here, which is a beautiful shade, it did have that clumping kind of putty effect that happens when some of the silicone ingredients kind of get together too they just clump together too much and they don't allow you to pick it up on your brush as easily and that is the only one that I really had trouble with no I sh the um, secret shade to the start brown shade also had a little bit of trouble so those two shades had a little bit of issue with that overly putty texture to them but the other shades had no issues and what I really love about them is that they give you that metallic sheen and shine without the expensive price point and these remind me somewhat of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows which is why I hope that the colored rain eyeshadow range is extended because I love the formula so much and I think she did such a great job formulating these and creating these and even the matte eyeshadows were really good too so I hope the range is expanded because I think she hit the the ball out of the park with these the formula is delicious they apply really well and they are really nice and creamy and blendable like I said they remind me of the makeup geek eyeshadows the foiled eyeshadows that are ten dollars a piece so you are saving hair you're getting a similar formula but these don't crease on me and we can shut it down right there. Even though they have the dimethicone in them, they're not a crease prone product, which I really like. But I do recommend using a primer with these if you have oily lids because they are still a creamy formula and they can slip around. I never use an eyeshadow without eyeshadow primer anyway because I have very oily lids and I do have lines in my lids as well as a slightly hooded eye. And anybody that has hooded eyes or creasy eyelids know exactly what I'm talking about. Eyeshadows can just disappear as you keep on blinking, they kind of fade away. So I do use an eyeshadow primer and I have no issues with these fading away or slipping all over the place. But if you do have hooded eyes, do keep in mind that these are shimmery eyeshadows. There will be transfer to your crease area unless you use a primer that's specifically meant to prevent the transfer of eyeshadow to your crease area. But overall, I had great wear with them. I didn't have any creasing with my primer, of course, but even without the primer, I had very minimal creasing. Like, I would see the lines of my lids, but the, 
the color didn't fade away in that area, which is what my major problem was with the Makeup Geek Foiled eyeshadows. They creased and disappeared. These might show lines, but they don't disappear. They apply well, except for those two shades, the purple one and the dark brown one, Secrets. That one, they have that thicker kind of putty feeling, but if you use a very dense synthetic brush, they can blend out really nicely. It's just I had a little trouble with those two shades specifically, but overall they apply well. They last well on the eyes as well. They're not like fading away, flaking off, or dusting away. The matte shades also applied well without being patchy or dusting away. They weren't overly powdery. I just feel like she found a happy medium with this formula where they're pigmented, but they still are long lasting without being powdery or creasy and I really enjoy this formula. So if you're gonna check these out, let me know what shades you're interested in trying out. If you have tried these already, let me know what you think. And I think the thing that really sealed the deal for me is this is a black owned company and I am all about supporting my black owned companies and this, I am so happy that they have great products and I have no issues spending the money for these. So let me know what you guys think about the shades and if you're going to pick some up and if you've tried them already, what do you think? As usual, I leave a full list of all the products that I mentioned in the video, all the shades that I swatched, which was all of them, and links to where you can pick these up. And as usual, I will leave links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page where you can follow me along. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.